Hi everybody, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. So what I have here is I put down my paint on my canvas to do a flower pop and my camera cut off. So I have had a time with my computer which is uh, a year old and with lighting and um, with the camera, I, I'm sure everybody can feel my pain. Um, you get so into what you're doing and you look up and you're not recording. So I know there are a lot of artists that use more than one camera, so it's time for me to invest in a second camera so that doesn't happen again. So what I'm doing is I am, it turned out absolutely amazing. So I do want to put this out. So what I've done up to the point where the camera actually cut off, I was using a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I love the level two canvas. If you are going to do a thin canvas, I prefer the level two just because they're not stapled on the back. They have a nice sturdy uh, very professional looking piece of wood on the back. It just looks a lot better than the than the um, bundle packages of canvas. I was using all of my porridge posse paints today, not all of them, but several of them. Um, and I act I just love them. Um, no, Christina Welsh is not giving me a commission to say that. Um, they're just highly pigmented. And if you put them with the right colors, like I did today, it's stunning. Um, so let's go through. I will start with, I had two favorite colors, but now I think I have three, but definitely this Galaxy Blue Shimmer um, by Porridge Posse. And the next favorite is gonna be my Deep Lagoon Shimmer. And I think after my pour today, I love this Silver Lake Metallic, um, beautiful. It's empty, and I did like this denim blue a lot. This is one of her newer colors. It's gorgeous. I also use the Morning Pansy Shimmer, and I have not used Maria's um, Shimmering Spruce Metallic. I might have used it in one other painting, and I never was a fan of it until today. It is beautiful in the end result. Um, this is a gorgeous color. I think it's got like a gold shimmer in it and I actually may add a little bit of gold or copper next time I use it. And then I used the um, Porridge Posse Ready Mix Black. I still have a lot of that left because the only time I use it is when I put it in my little bottles and I do the... Um, I do the petals, so um, that's what I use it for. And today, I actually used it as my swipe color as well. The only paint on the canvas that is not Porridge Posse is going to be Pistachio Pearl. This is a Primal Flow. It's also a Ready Mix paint. So what I do with my Ready Mix paints, I add just a tad bit of medium whatever it is that's in the other paints. So all of my Porridge Posse today were mixed two and a half to one, two and a half flow trawl to one part paint with water to consistency. And then I did add to these two pre-mix paints a little bit of flow trawl. So I went into more detail on the colors because my the next um, uh, frame that you're going to see is going to be where I've already laid the paints out. I haven't did the swipe yet, but I'm doing something a little bit different where I'm going to be doing split canvas and blowing them out a little bit differently as I'm creating different types of flower pops. So I, I'm sorry, you won't see me put the, the um, paints on the canvas and I spread them out with my cake spreader and the next frame will be the next step. So I appreciate your um, understanding. As um, you all know, if we could just paint and not set up, it would be oh so much better. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's let's get painting, and, and I will see you there. Okay, so we're gonna pour a thin line right here. Okay. And we're gonna swipe this way. So I'm going to get my paper towels. Okay. I'm 
going to dampen them. Okay. All right, now I'm going to pull this way. Let's put it here on the black. There we go. Lay it down. Move it up just a bit. There we go. Okay, and we're going to pull this way very slow. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay. So. Pop it, pop the bubbles. I hope you can see. I'm sure there's a lot of glare with this black. So now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I will blow out the flowers before I do the grass. Start with that. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit where you can see just the flowers so that I can reach. I'm gonna use a combination of things to blow the flowers. This is beautiful. I think it looks great. Okay, let's get these bubbles. All right. Now I am just, I'm gonna do very minimal, I think. I'm gonna do one here. Let me open this up. Uh, okay, we'll do one here. Okay. Here. Small one. Mm, this is beautiful. Here. Okay. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous that is. Hope you can see that. Okay. I, think I need puffy. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Okay, let's put a stem right here. Use Puffy. Okay. Um, we'll do a big one here. Hope you can see this because these colors are phenomenal. I need a little bit more, I think, for a bigger flower. colors. If you have not checked out her paints, you need to. They are really amazing. Okay, beautiful. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this green yet. I'm procrastinating, if you can tell. So right now I'm just doing the petals. Um, I do see a slight, um, just a slight, just a little white piece here. I'm not quite sure what that is in the paint. Got it. All right, let's see. Now we've got three here, which look pretty good. And this one here, I love that. Um, 
I think I'm going to take, I'm gonna move this up. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use paper towels and I'm gonna make some leaves. I'm gonna come up and make some leaves. I am going to dip it. I'm trying to think if I wanna dip it in the black. I don't know. Let's try it. So I dip my paper towels either directly in the paint or depending on how much paint is in the canvas, then I then I won't um, I won't dip it directly in the paint. It just depends on um, how it's looking and turning out. So I'm just going to make some um, different size. And if you get doing a painting and, you know, I just cut off the end that I painted, I leave my scissors. A lot of times um, on the videos that I've done this, you can't really see me doing that because I have such a small area. All right, so now that I have my pieces pretty much all cut, I wanna start with a narrow piece. I think these flowers, I can see that they're they're holding their shape really well. I think we should put another one right here while I'm still procrastinating.
we got nothing to say When there's no one to blame I'm not letting it fade So don't go looking for reason Asking for change We got Everybody. Okay, I'm bringing you down for a close-up. This turned out absolutely amazing. It does have a little bit of abstract art look to it. Um, I do love these petals and how the flowers are just so gorgeous. Um, Christina Welsh, her paints, Gorge Posse. That's what I did. All of this except for the lighter green is a premix paint. I just love this. I am gonna be trying different applications, mediums, and different things with my flower pop. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, if you'd like to see more. You know how I love these flower pops. I think they are absolutely so much fun to do. And again, I appreciate everybody that comments on my videos. I think that means more to me than anything to hear your comments, to know you're supporting me, and it allows me to support you right back. And I am so grateful for you, for everyone that is here watching and um, has helped me along the way on this journey. So take care everybody, and until next time.